GCSE Geography Desertification. In today's video, you're going to learn what desertification means, the process of desertification, the two main causes, and management strategies to reduce the risk of desertification. So desertification is the degradation of land, making it drier and less productive. Did you know that one third of Earth is at risk of desertification? So let's look at the process of desertification. Firstly, vegetation either dies or is removed. This leaves exposed soil, which is easily removed by wind or water, as there are no roots to hold it together. Nutrients in the soil are therefore lost, making it unproductive. There are two main causes of desertification. One is climate change. Now, climate change affects rainfall and is expected to reduce rainfall in areas that are already dry. Less rain means less water is available for plant growth. Climate change also means global temperatures will increase and the higher temperatures will cause more water to evaporate from the land. Human activities is the second main cause and it causes the removal of fuel wood. Many people in arid, dry areas rely on wood as a fuel for cooking. However, this has an adverse effect because the removal of trees leaves the soil exposed. Overgrazing is when too many cattle or sheep eat plants faster than they can regrow and rejuvenate. Also trampling by animals and over cultivation, which is when if crops are planted in the same area continually and all the nutrients in the soil are used up, which means that the plants can no longer be grown. Here are four strategies to reduce the risk of desertification. One is water management. So growing crops that need little water can reduce water loss. For example, olives or using drip irrigation on crops instead of surface irrigation means the soil and the nutrients aren't eroded by water. The second method is tree planting. Trees can be planted to act as wind breaks, reducing wind erosion. They can also stabilize roots and prevent des deserts from encroaching on farmland. Growing trees in amongst crops protect them and provide shade to reduce evaporation rates. The third method is soil management. Leaving areas of land to rest in between grazing or planting lets them recover their nutrients. Rotating crops that take different nutrients from the soil prevents the same nutrients from being continually removed. And the final method, appropriate technology. Using cheap, sustainable and easily available materials to build things that are easy for locals to maintain for example, sand fences. For more videos on GCSE English, RS and also Geography, subscribe to Noble for GCSE. Thank you for watching till the end and see you soon.